Would you join me in a word of prayer? Holy God of love, we give thanks that you have called us to this place, to your place, to celebrate the birth of your son, Jesus. We pray through the power of the Holy Spirit that you would, call, that you would come upon us, that you would open our hearts and our minds and our ears to hear and to receive the gift of your word, the gift of your love, as your word is proclaimed, as songs are sung, and as prayers are lifted up. In Jesus' name, amen. It is wonderful to have you here this evening. And as you come to this place, I would like you to imagine for a moment that it is the stable at that first Christmas Eve. The stable where all are welcome, shepherd, angels, poor and wise, strangers, family, friends, neighbors, and someone who just stopped by. Come, come this night into the stable. Come to the manger, to the one who crossed, hold, crossed over that threshold of salvation. Come and look into the manger and see that child looking up and reaching out to you, especially the lost and the lonely, the sick and the distraught, but also with joy, with joy for those who have maybe just had the experience of the birth of a child or a new relationship. This night is a night about relationships. It's first and foremost about the relationship that we share with God, and through that relationship, the relationships that we share with each other. Jesus began the story as a small babe in Bethlehem, as a child who was vulnerable and weak, frail, a child who depended upon his mother and father to feed him, to care for him, to provide for him. A child who probably experienced the reality of illness. A child who knew the reality of disappointments and betrayals. A child who was born for you. Jesus came as we are in human flesh that we might be comfortable in coming to Jesus to know that, that Jesus is one who has suffered as we have, that Jesus is one who is God Emmanuel, which means that God is with us. It's kind of like the experience of somebody who has walked in your shoes and he knows all about you. We hear in the Gospel of St. John that, that verse that we're all so familiar with, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus came not to condemn the world, that the world might be saved. And do you believe? That's the promise we've been given. Mary believed. Think about that for a moment. A 14-year-old girl, or a year or two from, apart from that, she believed that even though she was of modest means, even though she was an unwed young gal of 14, she believed that the power, in the power of the Holy Spirit that would overcome her, that she would be allowed to conceive a child in her womb. She believed that God could use her in the midst of her poverty, to be the mother of the Son of God. And Joseph, Joseph believed. Joseph believed that the woman to whom he was engaged but had not yet had relationships with, he believed also that the, she had conceived a child through the power of the Holy Spirit. And together they believed 
when the notice went out that everyone must go to their hometown to be registered, when Mary was heavy with child close to the birth date of that child, they believed together that God was with them as they traveled from Nazareth to Bethlehem, probably a journey of about four days. Imagine that, women, nine months pregnant and walking four days. And they believed when there was no room in the inn, possibly a, the inn or the place, the stable, what they were at, had an upstairs where people were staying, but they had to go in the stable amidst the animals because there was no room in the inn. But they believed. They believed that God was with them. And the shepherds, the shepherds were low on the economic status. They were kind of nobodies in the midst of that community. They were out doing what they were called to do when suddenly the sky lights up and they believed. They believed the angel in such a way that they left the sheep and they went to Bethlehem. And sure enough, there was the child that the angel had spoke of. And when they shared their experience, everybody was amazed. And Mary pondered those things in her heart. Do you believe? Do you believe that a child was born for you? Martin Luther reminds us that the significance of the Christmas story is that Christ was born for us, each and every one of us, that God came into the world, and that if we believe, we might have the promise of new life. When you think about Jesus coming in human flesh, it is a promise that, there, that Jesus is the light that is in our darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. Jesus came in human form to reveal to us the reality of the invisible God so that we might know the fullness of God. So this night, as you come forward to receive the gift of communion, picture yourself in the stable. And as you, as you receive that gift, look up and see Jesus reaching out to you. Jesus reaching out through, through his power on the cross when he said, I will lift up all people to me. Jesus who died so that our brokenness, our mistakes, our sinfulness will not separate us from God, but that we will be reconciled with God. That's the promise of Christmas. And then we are called, we are called to go and share that message with those around us. Who will you share Christmas with this year? What is the gift of hope that you will give to them? Is it a word of forgiveness? It is a, the promise of your faithfulness? It is your... Is it your courage to walk beside them in the midst of the brokenness? When you've experienced the gift and you realize it is for you and you've absorbed that, you will go forth into the world proclaiming the good news of the birth of Jesus Christ. The prophets have told us that God said, I will put it in your heart to know me and you will not rest till you rest in me. That's my prayer for you this Christmas Eve day, that you will believe, that you will believe in such a way that you will experience the Christ child within you, and you will give birth to that child as you reach out in love to the stranger, the neighbor, the family, the friend in your midst. It's the gospel. Christ was born for you. Amen.